content creation just got a whole lot easier let ai do the heavy lifting for you discover how to create high ranking content in record time with cloud ai and perplexity ai check out the links in the description if you would like to get all the resources use it to build this automation tools we need to set up this automation are rss app it is an rss reader that gathers updates from your favorite websites into one place it is just like a personalized newspaper you simply add websites you like and it shows new articles from all of them so you don't have to visit each site individually you can create a free account with rss app make.com to automate your workflows you can create a free account with make.com with the free account you will get two free active scenarios and thousand free operations that is sufficient for us to create this automation workflow your own wordpress website on which the blog will be posted i made a separate video with the title make automation how to connect wordpress to make you can refer to the link in the video description if you are completely new to wordpress website you need to get the wordpress website running first there are many youtube video tutorials that show you how to create a wordpress website cloud api key i made a separate video with the title how to create api key for cloud ai you can refer to the link in the video description perplexity ai api key for this also i made a separate video with the title how to create perplexity api key you can refer to the link in the video description make sure you have credit in all of your api key accounts gather all about details beforehand so that you can build make automation without any interruption download the resources i provided in the description before you start building the automation using the template will save you a lot of time compared to building it from the scratch now we are going to create our make workflow automation to start working with the template first log into make account by clicking this login button here you can see i am logged into my account click on create a new scenario then click on this more then click on this import blueprint then click on choose file navigate to the directory where you saved the template file and select the file fbs seo blog social dot json and click on this open button once the file is selected click the save button here you can see the model has been imported here the first module is the rss app module here click on this module to configure it here we need to specify the url for the rss feed that we create in rss app log in to your rss app you will be taken to your dashboard once you log in since you want to create a new feed click on this new feed button some of the features i will be using here will require a subscription you can create the feed for any website you want but in this example we are creating a feed for the google news so click on this google news rss feed here it says create rss feeds from any google news web page since i want to write blog posts about artificial intelligence i want to search for news about artificial intelligence here i typed in artificial intelligence and then click on this generate button rss app creates a feed for you and it is displaying it here i also want to apply few filters to fine tune which type of artificial intelligence news i want in my feed as it is a very broad topic you can try different filters here as per your content requirements click this filters button you can use this feature to hide certain posts you can use this whitelist feature to select articles that contain the words you specify here i am using this blacklist feature to filter out articles that contain finance related words in the ai news articles as they will be more finance related news on ai topic i mentioned here the finance related words which will be contained in those articles which need to be excluded you can include more words here if you want then click on this add button to add these words you can see now all these words have been added and articles containing these words will be excluded from your feed once you have finalized this filter list here click on this save feed button to save your filters now click on this overview button we can click on this settings button to adjust a few parameters here you have global settings and local feed settings click this global feed settings we can adjust the maximum number of posts in the feed currently it is set to default value of 25 let us exit this settings menu click on this close button you can see now the feed url is ready for you you can click on this copy button the feed url is copied then go to make.com and paste the url in the rss app module here you can specify how many items you want to retrieve here 
for demo purpose i entered one but you can change it to five or ten as per your requirement then click on this ok button here next we are using the perplexity ai module to summarize the article that we got from our rss field click on this perplexity ai module if you are using the perplexity ai module for the first time you will see create a connection option here once you click that option you will see this create a connection dialog box pop up you can give any name to the connection here copy and paste your perplexity api key here to establish the connection to perplexity ai then click the save button here here you can see i am already connected to my perplexity ai account once the connection is successfully established you will see these dialog boxes here you can leave the model as it is or if you want to change it to a different one you can click on this field and then change it to the one that you like to use perplexity ai is an llm model which has access to internet we are inserting it to read the article and produce a summarized output we are telling perplexity ai to assume the role of a user here you can leave thousand for max tokens here and then click this ok button next we are using a router module so that we can have multiple execution paths each path can contain subsequent modules that perform different actions on the data for the first branch we will use cloud ai module to create the main article for our blog post click on this main article module if you already created a connection it will be available for selection in this drop down box else you will see create a connection option here once you click on that you will see this create a connection dialog box pop up you can give any name here for the connection since we already have our api key enter the api key here and click on this save button to establish the connection you will see this dialog box once the connection is established successfully you can see here i am already connected to my cloud account in the model field i am using cloud 3.5 sonnet you can click here and change it if you want to you can leave max tokens at 4000 in the role field we have selected user under content type we have text or image you can see we have those two options text and image but we are using text here here we are giving the prompt to cloud on how to generate the blog article to post on our wordpress website we are saying write an seo optimized article on this topic use thousand words and we have provided a guidelines for creation of the content it should be easy to read it should feel conversational here we have provided some words and phrases that need to be excluded from the article and here we are saying for formatting use h1 h2 and h3 headers you can tweak this prompt to suit your requirement then click on this ok button here next we have wordpress module to create the blog post in the wordpress website click on this module if you already created a connection it will be available for selection in this drop down box else you will see create a connection option here once you click that you will see this create connection dialog box pop up you can give any name you want to this connection here then you will need to fill in these two fields also for the first field just add suffix wp json to the end of your website url let me grab the url of my website here here you can see i have provided the url to my website and then appended the wp dash json word make sure you give correct value here if the value is not correct here it won't work then we already have the api key that we noted down earlier copy and paste that value here then click the save button here once the connection is established you will see this dialog box and we need to configure few of the settings here you can see here i am already connected to my wordpress account for title field select the title value from the rss feed module that we created earlier you can scroll down here then you can select this field and then populate it here for the content field select the value from the cloud main article module that we created earlier for the type we have selected posts for date we have selected now that gives you current date and time you can click on this field and then go to this option and then select the now from here click in this status field you can select draft or publish from the options here if you select publish the blog will be published once the automation runs i want to select draft here so that we can review the blog post before publishing it on the website we can make sure the blog post looks good and then publish it for categories select the appropriate category that you have defined in your website for author here i selected admin once you configure all the necessary fields here click on this ok button in the second branch we will use cloud ai module to create social media post click on this module for the connection 
you can select the connection already created in the previous cloud module you can see here i am already connected to my cloud account in the model field i am using cloud 3.5 sonnet you can click in this field and change it if you want to you can leave max tokens at 4000 in the role field we have selected user in content type we have text and image options here we want to use the text option here we are giving the prompt to cloud on how to generate the content for social media post i am saying create a short fun social media post about the topic every sentence on a new line optimize the post for grabbing viewer attention and highly engaging you can tweak this prompt to suit your requirements then click on this ok button here once we have the social media posts it is highly recommended to review the content before you publish to your social media accounts you can post the content on your social media after ensuring it meets certain quality standards and is accurate without mistakes for that reason we will email the post content to ourselves to review for its accuracy we will use gmail send email module for that purpose click on this gmail module if you already created a google connection it will be available for selection in this drop down box else you will see create a connection option here once you click on that you will see this create a connection dialog box pop up you can give any name you want here please note if you want to use gmail with your personal account then you should have already set up the oauth client click on this show advanced settings button and then enter the values for the client id and client secret fields then click on this sign in with google button follow all the prompts allowing make to connect to your gmail account once the email connection is established successfully you will see this dialog box click on this email address one field and specify the email address you want to use i have mine as info at findbestsolution.tech click in the subject line field and provide the subject line as per your requirement here you can see i wrote review content for social media posts click in this content field this will be the email body that you will be receiving from the previous cloud module click in this field to select the text field that contains the social media post from the previous cloud module let us see how we can select that click on this then you will see the available fields for the social media post you can expand this content and then you can select this text field once you finish the configuration here click on this ok button after completing the scenario configuration click this save button to save the entire scenario now our automation is ready for testing in order to test click on this run once button and see whether it completes successfully or it is giving any errors here i am clicking the run once button you can see the scenario is running the green letter here mean the module ran successfully here now it is generating the article it generated the post for the wordpress it also created the social media post and also it has sent us an email we can also examine the input output of each module by clicking this magnifying glass icon you can see this is the input and you can see this is the output you can see here that the whole scenario ran successfully now we can go to our wordpress admin site and check for the blog post here i am logged into my website as admin click on this all posts here you can see the blog that has been created and it is in draft status you can click on this preview to display the blog post make sure everything looks right here and then the blog can be published you can also tweak the settings in the workflow so that the blog format looks as per your requirement once you verify everything is working fine you can publish your blog post let us also check our email inbox and verify whether we have received the email here you can see i have received the email it has a subject line review content for social media posts and this is the body of the email we have verified that the blog has been created and also email has been sent the entire scenario is working as expected once you verify everything is working fine you can schedule the automation to run at specified interval by clicking this schedule button you can specify at what intervals you want to run this and then click this ok button and then lastly you have to switch on your scenario by clicking this button here now your scenario is switched on and then it will run automatically at the scheduled intervals congratulations you built a make workflow automation for generating optimized seo content that you can use for posting blogs on your website automatically and also generate seo content for your social media posts bye until next video